Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick tip. This week we're going to talk a little bit about merging photos in Photoshop. And I don't mean layering photos, what I mean is actually making a panorama. Now I know that some modern phones will actually do this, but if you have an older phone or you're using an SLR camera that doesn't have this option, we're going to talk about how to do that. To get started, we want to think about how we're shooting our photos. And here I have a series of four photos that I shot in Japan a few years back. And we can see here, as I take these photos, I want to use a little bit of the edge of the previous shot in each photo. So if I take a look at this photo, you can see the edge of the building. Over here, you can see the edge of this building, which is now in this shot. And then the final shot has all of that building. So we want to be sure that we're giving a little bit of data for Photoshop to work with as it's doing the merge. Now doing the merge is really easy. You're going to go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. It will give you options for Auto, Perspective, Cylindrical, Spherical, Collage, and Reposition. Today we're going to stick with Auto. The next thing we want to do is select Add Open Files, and that just uses the open files we have up here in our tabs. Now, if you don't have your files open, you can either put them into a folder and then browse for them, or you can just go ahead and open those files up. Down here at the bottom, we want to make sure that Blend Images Together is selected, Vignette Removal is selected, and Geometric Distortion Correction is selected. We're not going to select Content Aware Fill because this gives some weird errors sometimes. When everything's finished, we're going to select OK, and it will start processing our file. Here we can see our processed image, and with it, it gives us different layers of how those images are blended together, so we can sort of see how Photoshop stitches everything. Now I'm going to close out my layers panel for a moment and I want to clean up the edges of this. One of the things that I like to do when I'm cleaning up edges is to use the ruler tool. And if you don't have that on, it's simply control R or command R on the Mac to turn that on. And I'm just going to pull rulers to the areas of the edges of the piece. So I'm going to pull this down here. I'm going to pull another one over here. I got a little bit of my camera strap in that photo, so I'm going to crop that off and then one here. I'm just going to use the rectangular marquee and use those guides that I created to help me crop this. So I'll select that, go to image, crop, and now we no longer see those errors. Well, that's about it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.